Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by the movie Hangout, and let's talk about The Mandalorian, season three, low ratings. I can't believe I'm even saying it because it it was a great show. It was the number one show on Disney Plus. It was really the only show worth watching on Disney Plus. And after a few years waiting to see what the season was gonna what was gonna bring, this is what we get. And apparently a lot of people are not really happy with it. So I'm gonna be diving into what the numbers are, what's going on with the Mandalorian season three. Before I do, be going over, hit subscribe, click the notification bell, comment and like this video. I want to hear your opinion on The Mandalorian Season 3. Okay, so I'm over here at Cosmic Book, Cosmic Book News. It's kind of a tongue twister a little bit. The Mandalorian Nielsen ratings. I can't believe they still do Nielsen ratings. I wonder how, wonder how uh, accurate those are, but they still go by that. They drop big nearly 40%. I mean, just think of that. It's almost, I mean, it's 4 in 10 people who were normally watching it have left. Not good. Mando and Baby Yoda are not off to a good start with season three. You know, it's it, here's here's my here's what I think even before reading the article. What's going on? People have kind of been conditioned to have basically an attention span of a goldfish. Uh, you know, I even noticed it in myself. Like my attention span has gotten smaller over the years from from where it was maybe like ten years ago. Uh, I would like to not, I'd like to think that it's not true, but I, I can kind of, uh, you know, I, I gotta be real. I think it kind of is. And I think a lot of people's attention span has, has gotten a lot shorter because of social media, because just everything is so fast, right? We're all binge watch things. We don't really wait week to week for different stuff. And we, we want it now. We are like the Burger King generation we want it our way right we want we don't want the menu to be pre-done for us we want to pick every little thing and so i think that's what's going on with this show there was just too big of a gap between season two and season three so people literally found an endless number of things to be distracted by they forgot about it or they became disinterested in it also they fired a potential uh you know great spin-off character they, they they, they fired uh, Gina Carano. They destroyed the character of Cara Dune, which was a great character, had a lot of potential. A lot of people liked Gina Carano. A lot of people still do. A lot of goodwill has been put out into the world by her. And uh, so that turned a lot of people off. A lot of people didn't come off or di didn't uh, didn't appreciate that, and they didn't they didn't return. So the Mandalorian Neil Strings have, been, have seen a big drop of nearly 40% from the season two finale to the season three premiere. In December 2020, the week when the season two finale of The Mandalorian was released, it was December 14th to the 20th, the show secured the top spot on the Nielsen Ratings weekly U.S. streaming chart with 1.34 billion minutes viewed. That's, that's a lot. It's a lot. Which marked the first time a non-Netflix show took the top spot. Pretty big deal if you think about it, right? It's a whole new category. It's Nielsen Ratings Weekly U.S. Streaming Chart. So it's not, you know, TV, it's streaming. And here you got this show knocking down Netflix, Amazon, all, all the big guys. It's a pretty big deal. However, it's a different story for the start of The Mandalorian Season 3 as the first episode that debuted on March 1st during the week of February 27th to March 5th, 2023. The Mandalorian only has... 823 billion minutes viewed. So you went from 1.34 billion minutes viewed and down to 823 billion minutes viewed, which is a drop of 38% in minutes viewed. I'm guessing that's probably a typo. It's probably 823 million minutes viewed, not billion, because that would be like better than 1.3 billion. So I think that's a typo, a million minutes viewed. Worth worth a mention is that the ratings aren't just for one single episode and take into account all the available episodes viewed. So back at the season two finale in December, 2020, more people could have been watching additional episodes compared to the start of season three. However, the season two numbers saw the Mandalorian average around a billion minutes viewed each week with the season two premiere week having 1.032 billion minutes viewed. So we see there is some kind of decline by at least around 20%. Also, 
Are the Mandalorian ratings cause for concern? There will be cause for concern if the minutes view don't increase or even decrease for the Mandalorian season three and subsequent weeks. Look for next week's Nielsen ratings numbers for more, which is something suggested by various insiders and scoopers who have basically said the ratings are a disaster. And then we go on down here. The Mandalorian season three premiere episode also happens to be the lowest rated on Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb, so that's not good. So you figure, if Rotten Tomatoes is giving it a low a low review, you know, Rotten Tomatoes is pretty much, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a site that was purchased by Warner Brothers, so it's a corporate-owned site. It's not an independent site where, you know, fans and um, just, like, independent critics go. These are hand-picked critics that gave it a low rating. So that really, really tells you something there. Disney CEO Bob Iger has said he is taking a careful look at Star Wars. So there is obviously something wrong. And it has been reported that Disney ordered Lucasfilm to cancel a planned Indiana Jones series to concentrate on fixing Star Wars. And even that if the head of Lucasfilm, Kathleen Kennedy, doesn't get a new Star Wars movie released soon, it has been four years, she will be removed from her position. I don't know if I'm going to believe that, that she'll be removed. I think that probably she's going to be there, whether the ship the ship sinks, she's going to be stuck on the ship probably, but she'll be blaming everybody else, right, um, for, for where she steered the ship to. Um, it, it's nice that Bob Iger finally is publicly acknowledging there's something wrong with Star Wars, but again, this is something that all of us have been saying since 2015, you know, 2016, seven, eight years. And now he's finally just saying it. And I guarantee behind closed doors, he always knew there was something wrong with it. He just had to wait till things got so bad to where it hit critical mass where he can actually come out in public and say it. Because the shareholders even, if you listen to the shareholder conference calls, people... People know that this is Disney's declining culturally. Uh, don't listen to you know a lot a lot of the fake media out there. The and I say it's fake because it's paid for by big corporations. It's basically propaganda. It'll they'll say that Disney is you know ascending. They're not. I mean they're they're declining rapidly, and it's not because there's anything there's anything we're doing. It's because of the choices they're making. People like Kathleen Kennedy, just beating down fans, people that are willing to spend their hard-earned dollar, beating them down because of ideological reasons and refusing to change, refusing to give a product, refusing to tell a story that we all would love to hear and have paid for willingly in the past. So do I think that the, Mandal the Mandalorian season three tanking is gonna change anything at Disney? I don't. I don't think it's going to change at all. I think probably what's going to happen, the Mandalorian won't get renewed for season four. Uh, they'll keep trying to sell Baby Yoda dolls, you know, try to try to squeeze every little bit of profitability out of this IP, which it's nothing new. It's basically just, it's just literally a Baby Yoda. It's Yoda, but he's a baby. That's all that it is. There's nothing creative about it at all. And I mean, Mando is literally just... A recreation of Boba Fett, you know? So all this stuff is from like the late 70s, early 80s, regurgitated, hoping that we'll forget about it and we'll just, you know, keep buying it over and over again. But uh, people aren't. And so I think it's good. And I think we need to keep it up. And if this is ever going to get any better, we got to just stay the course. Let me know what you think. Do you think that, you know, despite season three not doing as well, they're going to renew it. They're, Disney, Disney's going to be like, you know what? We're going to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy. We're going to fire her. And we're going to, we're going to keep going with The Mandalorian because that's, that's our hit show. That's what's bringing in the viewers. We're going to make it better and better. We're going to re, re-energize the Star Wars IP. Uh, or do you think that, like what I said, it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you want to get future rants, Reviews, original content, click subscribe. Later.